our sun was born around 4.6 billion years ago. And since that very moment, it's been burning continuously, fueling life on Earth. The sun generates its immense energy through a process called nuclear fusion, deep inside its core, where hydrogen atoms fuse together to form helium, releasing an enormous amount of energy. That's the very energy we receive as sunlight and warmth every single day. Right now, the sun is in the main sequence phase of its life, a stage that lasts for about 10 billion years, which means our sun is already halfway through its life. But what happens next? When it reaches the end of this phase, the sun will expand massively, so large that it will swallow the inner planets of our solar system, including Mercury and Venus. Many scientists believe that by then, Earth will either be burned to ashes or pushed away due to the sun's growing heat and instability. And after that fiery chaos, what will remain of the sun will be its dense, glowing core, a remnant known as a white dwarf. Over billions and trillions of years, that white dwarf will slowly cool down and eventually become a black dwarf, a cold, dead star, the silent corpse of what was once the heart of our solar system.